On average, a person will consume 170 glass bottles and jars every year. It is their responsibility to recycle these correctly. In South Australia, the Refundable Recycling Initiative has been hugely successful at improving the resource recovery rate to 85% and reducing landfill deposits by 30%. Each type of glass is recycled separately. In the depot, they go into separate bins. They're clear and, and there's green and brown. And working in with your depot is really great, helping the guys out before you get there. Everyone who's recycling here or at home or anywhere, you've got to work out your own system. You've got only so much room. You've got a trailer or you've got a car. You've got to compact things. One thing to really take note of is um, take the tops off the bottles. In the compactor in the factory where they are recycled, they explode and it's an occupational health issue. It'll always be written on a little sticker that'll say 10 cent deposit if sold in South Australia. Just say that you were a homeless person you can have an income. It's nowhere else in Australia. You could be collecting and still be independent. That can make a big difference. Here at Glen Osmond Recycling, people bring their recyclables into the depot here. We give them a cash refund on the deposit, um, cans, bottles and glass. Categories are the pets and the LPB like your milk cartons and the HTPE like uh, your plastic milk cartons. They need to know really what we recycle and what we don't recycle so that we're not sorting through stuff that should really go into their council yellow bins. We empty their boat load out and then we sort it out into the different categories of amber, clear and green. So if they could sort it out, it'd be really good. What we do once the cages are full, we take them out the back and we put them up on the gantry and then we press them in the blocks. Once compacted, the reusable material is then transported and mixed with raw ingredients to create new recycled products. Aurora has been working hard towards a more sustainable waste future. Categorised glass is broken down and crushed into fragments known as colour. Original glass ingredients such as sand and soda ash are mixed with the colour in massive portions. Once the mix is prepared, it is then sent to a batch furnace. Temperatures will range from 1200 to 1600 degrees Celsius, creating molten glass. When the batch reaches its designated temperature, it can then be moulded into different shapes and sizes. The new glass products can then be transported for distribution to clients both locally and internationally.